the lynching of black people way back then. I think in the 1900s, all the way up to the 1930s, and so on and so on. A lot of black people got lynched. And they never arrested nobody for them or convicted nobody for them. I just don't understand. But you can go back years to, to find a murderer who killed somebody in the 60s or the 70s. You can go back and find them easy and, and still have a court case against them. For instance, if a person raped somebody probably back in 1980 or 1970 or in the 1990s, they'll go back and try to uh, charge them and convict them. It's been happening every day. But you can't go back and find the people who lynch black people. And some of them people are still alive because they said a lot of them lynchings, people who helped lynch uh, the black slaves or the black people living on a plantation, a lot of them people are still alive. Because this, some of them, is some, some of them happened in 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and so on. Some of them people are still alive. But you can go back and get somebody who commits a rape on somebody that uh, happened years ago, 10 or 15 years ago. You can go back and find them. But you can't go back and go get these people who lynched these black people who were slaves, who was poured over here and sold like animals. I just don't understand this. I mean, you see it every day. Somebody getting, like a teacher, she messed around with a student and it happened in 19, I think 1995. They going after her. This happened a long time ago. What is the statute of limitations on this? But I just don't understand that. It should never be a statute of limitation on murder anyway. I thought it was not a statute of limitation on murder. You have these people who commit these crimes against the black people who rape the women, who cut babies out of their stomach, who fed my, who fed the little babies to alligators. I seen this uh, documentary on it. That shit made me piss me off. I'm not, I'm not mad at the people who live in it today, but somebody have to pay for this. Some of these people are still alive. Why do our government want to go after these people who lynch my people, the black people? But you have some of these people on here saying they ain't had nothing to do with it. Yeah, your family has something to do with it because y'all got rewarded for the money y'all made off these slaves. I just don't understand that. This shit happened every day. They go back and charge somebody for a crime that happened a long time ago. But they're not going after the people who lynch black people. Some of them people are still alive. They might be old, but they still must be paying for their crime, what they did to these people. These are human beings. It don't make sense to me. It's backwards. How the hell you can get away with murder, lynching people, cutting babies out of the women's stomach, and feeding the babies to the alligators? How could you get away with that? I just don't understand this shit. Tell me if I'm wrong, because I know I'm not wrong. Because what goes up must come down. Because when you see God, you're going to pay for your con. You're going to pay the consequences of your actions. You know what I'm saying? It was not an accident. And what's so bad about me when I seen this documentary? You had white people coming over there. Like, they going to the circus to see somebody to get hanged. It don't make sense to me. It was like a carnival. They was taking the kids out of school to go see somebody to get hanged. That's evil. Plain fucking evil. Even though this shit happened a long time ago, but the black race are still paying for the consequences of these people who destroyed them and try to call them not humans. That's bull crap. When the first people on earth was black. You might say it's not. You might not want to hear the truth. Scientists have proved it. Uh, professors have proved it. It's coming to light that black people was the first people on earth and you better recognize because it is what it is and people who do evil stuff towards people are going to pay for it but I think the people who lynched black people back then who's still alive should pay for their crimes 
just like anybody else. You can't tell me some of them people are dead. Probably a lot of them dead, but some still alive. Some of this shit happened in the 1930s, so I know some of these people are alive. The 40s, and so on. It still has happened. It might happen today. Somebody might be getting hung today. We don't know. Back in the woods or the forest, we don't know what's going on. But I think people who are still alive should pay for the consequences of the action who lynched black people back then, the ones who are still alive, who got rich off of black people. That's all I got to say. Please thumbs up this video, comment, share, subscribe all over the Internet because it needs to be taken care of. If you can go after somebody, like one of these teachers who raped a student, or messed around with a student in 1995, or go back to this guy who killed somebody, murdered somebody, I think in the 60s or 70s, they went back and got him, but you can't go back and get the people who lynched black people. That's wrong. It don't make no sense. I'm out of here.